About 500 workers, former workers and company managers from the South African poultry sector marched on the EU headquarters in Pretoria on Wednesday, furious over cheap imports and mounting job losses, but the EU has accused the industry of using it as a handy scapegoat for domestic production problems and said volumes of EU chicken imports were too small to be responsible for the crisis. No one can make a living if you can't sell your product for the right price. So for us the right price is to sell it at more than the cost of production, I guess that's pretty obvious. But we can't do that right now because of the EU dumping. Organizers of the march said that four to 5,000 jobs had already been lost and that 110,000 more were at risk in the industry, plus 20,000 in the feed supply sector. RCL Foods, South Africa's largest poultry producer, last month laid off 1,350 employees, 20% of its workforce, and is selling 15 of its 25 farms. The EU is not the only country or group of countries that are dumping, but they're the ones that are dumping the product that causes the most harm, the dark meat that Europeans don't care for much. About 80% of all the dark meat that comes to South Africa comes from Europe, and that's why we are protesting against Europe, because if Europe changes its behaviour, the European part of the problem disappears. The South African poultry industry alleges that the EU dumps off cuts of dark meat, chicken thighs and drumsticks in South Africa at a below cost prices because the European market prefers breast meat. The EU is South Africa's biggest trading partner and the dispute marks a tricky start to the Economic Partnership Agreement, the EPA, between the two sides that came into force last year. Bureau Report, NN7.